so as you guys can tell by the title this video, I just want to come and talk to you guys about 10 things that I want to add to my like natural hair regimen slash journey just so I continue to reach all my goals that I set on my natural hair journey. And this video is going to have to be really quick because I only have 13 minutes on my SD card and so yeah, let's just hop right into it. So the first thing that I want to, I wouldn't say add to my hair journey because I've already been doing it, but I kind of go back and forth between washing my hair once a week to washing my hair once a month. Like I'm either on it where I'm washing my hair like once a week all the time, or I just slip for a week and then that one week turns into two, which then turns into three, which the next thing I know, a whole month has went by and I have not washed my hair. And I tend to do that a lot when my hair is in mini twists and that's how I wear my hair like 99% of the time anyway. So I'm trying to be more conscious of washing my hair once a week. So I definitely feel like making sure that your scalp is clean is essential for like healthy hair growth. The second thing that I wanna add to like my natural hair journey, it's not really my natural hair journey, it's just my lifestyle period, is that I wanna go walking twice to three times a week, nothing big, just like an hour walk up and down the street. Cause as you guys do know, um, the gyms are closed. They are slowly opening back up, but the gyms in my area are still closed. So I definitely want to go walking two to three times a week. And when the gyms do open back up, I still want to continue to walk probably at least twice to once a week. I like walking. It helps to just get fresh air. Um, you can just go walking and listen to your music, clear your mind. Like I definitely think that I need to incorporate walking more because I am somebody who when I go to the gym I love to lift weights I hate cardio so I definitely feel like walking is like a form of cardio that I can definitely do the next thing that I want to add to like my natural hair journey but also to my life is daily yoga I've been like adding yoga in. this is just my third day of doing like this 30-day yoga um, thing I saw on YouTube but I definitely want to continue to add yoga in I like how it just de-stresses you like you focus on your breathing it helps a lot with your mental but it also helps with your hair growth as well because of all the poses like when you're upside down and it helps just with your blood flow so i definitely want to add your daily yoga um just to my life regimen like 30 to 15 minutes of yoga a day is not that much and i can definitely do it so i definitely want to add yoga um into my healthcare journey and also my hair journey because a lot of people um, say that yoga helps with your hair growth and helping like the blood flow rest to your head and just helping all the nutrients get to your head. Another thing I would like to do is drink more water. I definitely feel like I am somebody who drinks a lot of water, but I definitely want to be more conscious of drinking even more water, especially now that I am getting older. Today is my birthday. I don't know when this is coming out, but today is my birthday. My birthday is May 24th, and I am 31, so I am getting up there in age. I'm not getting any younger, and I definitely want to make sure that my skin stays um, clear and everything else, so I definitely want to drink more water, and everybody knows when you drink water, it just helps everything in your body, your skin, your nails, your organs, just everything. So I'm definitely going to try to be more conscious of drinking a lot more water. Another thing that I've added um, to like my healthcare journey, because I feel like my healthcare journey and my natural hair journey go like go hand in hand, but it is um, taking a zinc pill. I feel like I am a little bit deficient in zinc just because I was looking at some videos and definitely about how my nails are looking and everything else. So I did buy a zinc pill from my local grocery store. So I have been taking that. It's only been about two, three days as well, but I'm definitely trying to incorporate more zinc because zinc is really amazing for hair growth as well. I know a lot of people um, focus on biotin, but zinc does really good for hair growth as well. Um, if you guys want me to do a video on how zinc and biotin work for hair growth, definitely let me know. Um, I love science. I majored in science, so I just love a good science video. <laughs> The next thing is that I want to create a more positive relationship with my hair. Um, I wouldn't say that I have a negative relationship with my hair. I don't hate my hair, but I'm not excited about my hair. Like, I definitely love how this wash and go looks. I definitely feel like um, the more I do it, the better I will get. Um, but I still have to like look at the mirror and just kind of get used to myself with this big hair. So I definitely want to get to a point where I just completely love my natural hair. I know a lot of people come on here, um, and I think a lot of people do love their natural hair, but I think a lot of people sometimes put on a front, and I don't want to do that for you guys. So I would say that I like my natural hair, but I wouldn't say that I have the most positive relationship with my natural hair. I'm cool on wash days, but when it comes to styling, um, most of the time I'm negative. Like if I'm not doing mini twists, if I'm doing any other style other than mini twists, I am very negative when it comes to like my hair. Like I 
I just can't stand it and I think like I keep telling myself well, when it gets longer it'll be easier when it gets longer but it's not because it's still gonna be the same texture just longer you're gonna have more of it so it's probably even gonna be more stressful for me to deal with so I definitely feel like as my hair is at this length right now um, I definitely want to create a positive relationship with my hair where I love my hair where when I wear my hair like this I feel just as beautiful as I did with my straight hair um, because I once again, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I still feel like I like the straight hair look on me better. And that may just be because I'm just used to that. Um, so I definitely want to get used to me seeing my hair like this. That's why I'm subscribing to more natural YouTubers. I'm watching more natural YouTubers. I definitely feel like you want to engulf yourself in the image of what you're trying to like... How can I say this? I definitely feel like you just want to see more positive images of that. So when I see more other black women just loving their natural hair, rocking it, feeling sexy, feeling very feminine in their natural hair, because I feel like when I have my straight hair, I feel very feminine. And I'm not saying that when I have my natural hair, I don't feel feminine. I just don't feel as feminine, if that makes sense. And I definitely want to break that because that is definitely a mental thing that I can definitely like control. I feel like I can definitely control how I think, the energies, the vibes, everything. Um, so I definitely want to create a more positive relationship with my natural hair. I'm not saying that is horrible, but every relationship you have in your life, even the relationship with yourself, can definitely be worked on. So I'm definitely going to try to work on that relationship. Another thing on my natural hair journey is I definitely feel like I want to film a little bit more and take more pictures. I feel like when I was on my relaxed hair journey, I have tons and tons of pictures and I feel like I had more videos as well so I could easily track my relaxed hair journey. My natural hair journey is a little bit harder because I don't take as many pictures and that goes back to my other one is because I don't think I have the best positive relationship with my natural hair and that's probably why I kind of tend to veer away from taking pictures or doing as many videos but I definitely feel like I want to do more videos and take more pictures because when I look back at like old wash and goes as I'll, I'll insert the picture here or it will be in the thumbnail you can see like my hair has grown and I feel like my wash and go definitely looks better but when you're dealing with your hair day to day you don't see the length and you don't feel like it looks that much better so I definitely feel like if I take more pictures and do more videos and when I look back when I'm feeling a little down on my hair I'll definitely see how far I've come I feel like comparison pictures they really give you a boost of like I did something and I can continue to do something you know what I mean another thing is that I want to reach waist length by March 2021 which is next year um I've always wanted to be waist length I was waist length when I was um relaxed and I loved it so I definitely want to reach waist length when my hair is like blow blow dried out so that means if I straighten it it'll be a little bit past waist length it was, so when I straighten it, it'll be a little bit past waist length, but I definitely want my blow dried hair to be at waist length, full blunt cut and everything. So that is my goal for next year. I know it's kind of a stretch, but that's my goal and I'm going to stick to it. So I definitely want to be fully waist length, blow dried hair by March 2021. Another thing, and this kind of piggybacks, not really piggybacks, but it kind of goes hand in hand with creating positive relationships with my hair, is that I want to, when I have like a failure, I guess you can call it, or a hairstyle or a product doesn't work, I don't want to look at it as a failure. I want to look at it more as a lesson, like, okay, this didn't work. What can I learn from it? What can I do differently? And I just I definitely feel like when you change certain words in a sentence, it changes the tone, it changes the energy, it changes how you think. So if I'm like, yeah, this hairstyle is a fail, I'm probably not going to have the best relationship with the hairstyle. I may never want to do it again. But if I look at this, the hairstyle that may have failed as a kind of like a lesson or just something that maybe didn't go right, but other stuff went right, I definitely feel like I'll do it more and my mindset won't be as negative. Like just my lifestyle period, I'm really trying to be more positive. So I definitely feel like I don't want to use the word failed hairstyles or failures when it comes to my hair journey, just lessons and things I can learn from. So the last thing is I just want to smile more. Um, I've heard that when you smile, it makes you just feel happier. Even if you're faking and forcing it, if you keep doing it over and over again, you'll just find that you're more of a happier person. So I definitely want to do that. Like I want to post pictures this whole year, the year of my me being 31 on Instagram of just me smiling. I want to look back on this year and be like, wow, I was smiling a lot and just be happy because I just, I just really want to be happy. So yeah, uh, my camera 
is about to run out of memory so let me know in the comment section below anything that you guys are adding to your natural hair journey to help you reach your goals if it's as simple as drinking more water doing zinc or if it's a mindset thing like you want to have a positive relationship you just want to smile more just let me know in the comment section below how you guys are doing on your natural hair journey also happy birthday to all my gemini's out there we rock it's gemini season so i definitely want to let you guys know happy birthday leave in the comment section below if you are a gemini and when your birthday is so i can definitely say happy birthday to you so yeah i'll talk to you in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye